Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Today I'm here to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Hoping that some of you will give your life to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. So today I'm going to talk about two ways in this life. There's no three ways. Amen. You only got one choice to make in this life. So any choice that you make today in your life is going to determine where you're going to spend your eternal life. Amen. And that's why I'm here today. You see? In this life we have today, you have to make a choice in your life today. Amen. And at this point in life, any choice that you make is going to determine your destiny. You see? We make choices this morning where you're going to work. You make choice this morning how you dress up and the things you're going to eat and the things you're going to do you see so it's not different today you have to make a choice today amen what are you going to serve jesus christ or are you going to serve the devil it is a choice that you have to make amen god haven't given us three choices he gave us two choices to make in this life you see any choice that you make today gonna determine where you're gonna spend your entire life and that's why it is very important that you listen to the word of God coming out from my mouth. Amen. The Bible says, fair comment by hearing and hearing the word of Jesus Christ. You see? God giving you two good ears for you to do what to listen. And that's why I'm here today to encourage you to the word of God. So that you can make the right choice today. You see? The choice you made today is going to determine your future. You see? The path that you are living right now. You must have already made that choice. Whether it's good or bad, you have to agree with me. Some choices that we make in this life, most of us regretted it, you see, because we didn't know the consequences of the choice that we made. Amen? And that's, you see, to come and realize that you are created for a very, for a very good purpose. You see? Let me ask you, are you making a choice in this life because of people's opinion? Are you making a choice in this life because you have been influenced by one way or another by other people influenced? You see? The choice you made today have to determine where you, you end up in life. That's why today I'm here to offer you Jesus Christ. Amen? So that you can be saved through Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ gives us only one option to do what to take. you got two ways in this life. You have to take one. You see? So whatever choice that you made today, you have to live with it. And that's why you shouldn't make haste to make a way or to make a choice that can lead it to the wrong path. Amen? So in this life that we are living, Jesus Christ says in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 13, now Jesus speaking, he said, enter through the narrow gate. The word narrow and the word enter is very, very important. To enter is a command. Amen? He said, enter through the narrow gate. Why? Because the gate is narrow, and that gate do what leads it to eternal life. You see, and those who find it are few. So that means not everybody have find the gate of that narrow gate. You see, because the Bible says it's only few people have find it. You see, and that's why today in your life you need to make a choice. You need to make a choice the way you're gonna take. You make a choice this morning. You know the way you're going to work. What a good choice. But do you also take a choice and to make a way that can lead it to what internal life? And that's what the Bible is saying here today. You see? It says the wider gate. For the gate that is wide, the Bible says that way is easy. And leads to what? Destruction. And those who enter it are many. So what Jesus Christ has done here is this. He simplifies it for me and for you. It's only two ways. Two ways in this life to get you need to pick a gate you see the bible said the gate that is narrow leads to internal life and only few people find it the gate that is wide is broad the bible says many people follow it you see so any choice that you made today in your life will determine where you're going to end up you see most of us are already living by the choices we have already made amen so that is why you need to ask yourself this sombering question. Amen? You need to sit down, meditate on it, because at the end of the day, 
where you end up is very important for Jesus Christ. And that's why Jesus Christ came and says, enter through the narrow gate. It is a commandment. Amen. This is not about religion. It's a commandment. Enter through all, through the narrow gate. You see, Jesus Christ gave us two things in this life. He said, enter through the narrow gate. Amen. So you have two choices in this life. Two gates, narrow and wide. You need to pick one. You see, two ways, narrow and broad. You need to pick one. Two destinations, light and destruction. You need to pick one. Two groups, few and many. You need to pick one. Two kinds of three, good and bad. You need to be one, you see? So there's two kinds of people to profess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Either you profess sincerely or you are a false prophet, you see? So two kinds of builders the Bible gives us as well is what? Wise and foolish. So are you building your house on a solid foundation? You see, the Bible says build your house on a solid foundation. Amen? So if you build your house as a white person, Jesus Christ should be that foundation of your life. Not drinks, not alcohol, not sex. You see, any lifestyle that you are living today that do not give God the glory, the word of God is here to do what? To give you encouragement, you see? Because the Bible says what? Two kinds of builders, wise and foolish. You see? Two kinds of foundation, rock and sand. Amen? You also tell you two kinds of houses, secure and insecure. So as you can see, Christ has made it crystal clear in this life, the choice that you need to make. You see? The path that you need to take. Now it's done to you. Amen? Let me ask you a question. Have you made that choice? Or are you still thinking about it? Because the word of God is here to encourage you. Amen? Just in case you must have made a mistake, you're taking the wrong path in life, the word of God is here to do what? To encourage you. So that you can change your lifestyle. So that you can pick up the right way. And that's why I'm here today. You see? So Jesus Christ has given us all these destinations that we need to take. You see? He makes it very clear. Two ways. Two choices. Two decisions. Two destinations. And one leads to what? Godliness and righteousness. And the Bible called that road narrow gate. Why is it narrow? Because only few people can go through it. The gate is not wide. Can you imagine you go to a football pitch, people are just rushing in to go in and you got one door. You can only take few people. Amen. That's why the Bible says, well, only few people find it. And the Bible also gives us another way. It said the way that is broad, which leads to what? Disappointment and destruction. The Bible says that way is crowded. Amen. And that's why too many people follow that way. You see? So Jesus Christ have made it clearly for me and for you to do what? To pick a choice. You see? So that broad way means your lifestyle. The path you have taken in life. The way you have choose to do what? To live your life. You see? And it comes with territory. Your beliefs. Are you a self-centered person? Are you a self-righteous person? Are you the kind of person don't tell me what to do? You just want to live your own life. Leave me alone. Let me do my own thing. The Bible disagrees with you. You see? And that's why I'm here today. To encourage you through the word of Jesus Christ. So that what? You can have change of mind. You see? So it will be a foolish thing for anybody to dis disconnect themselves from the living God. Amen? You want your freedom? God never stop you from having your freedom. You see, it comes with what? Territory. Amen? The Bible says, you haven't given us spirit of fear, but give us what? Spirit of sound mind, boldness, and self-control. And the Bible says, where there is God present, there's liberty. You see? So, when you ask, when you think about it, and you ask yourself, what kind of freedom are you actually requesting that you want to get in this life? You just want to have a freedom to live your own way? To do your own thing, to kind of like be disobedient to God, is that kind of freedom that you are requesting? Because God cannot do what? Permit our sin. God cannot tolerate any of our sinful lifestyle. And that's why the word of God is here to do what? To encourage you. You see? 
As a child of God, you can never follow the way of the crowding. Where people rushing, doing things. The Bible says what? That way that is broad leads to what? Lead to hellfire. I know you don't want to hear it, but it's the word of God. I'm not here to preach to you what you want to hear. I'm not here to preach to you something to make you feel happy. You see? This is not a variety show. Amen? I'm here to preach the word of God. Hoping that some of you will do what will be saved. And that's why I'm here today, you see? Because the Bible have commissioned every Christian to do what? To go and preach the word of God all over the world. I can guarantee you, probably a lot of thousands of people watching right now in the Facebook, because I'm Facebook Live every time I come here, they hear the word of God. When I look into the society here, I thought this society is a Christian country. Not anymore. You see? Most people don't even know what Bible is. Most people don't even have Bible app on their mobile phone. Most people don't even do Bible study at their home. Most people don't even pray. And you ask yourself, is this the Christian society? It's just in the name, not anymore. You see? And that's why I'm here today to encourage you. Because you need to take a part. Either way, you need to pick a part. Or you're already living in one. You see? The part, the Bible says in the book of Psalm 105, 199, 105, that the word of God is a light for my part. Amen. It's a lamp for my feet. What do you work on? You work with your feet. What do you work on? To? You work on the path. And that's why Jesus Christ says there is two ways narrow way and a broad way. So you need to pick a one. You see? Anyone that you pick today, God is going to judge you. And that's why you need to change your mindset and come back to Jesus Christ. Amen. So the Bible says, broad way allows you to do what to do all kinds of things you want to drink you get drunk you see you want to gamble you can gamble that's what narrow that's what the broadway does you see it brings all kind of kind of sexual immoralities and you will say i want to live my life i want to do my own thing you see these days we call it freedom what kind of freedom is that is it freedom to sin which god disagrees with you amen God cannot tolerate of any of our sin. The Bible says that the soul that sin will do will surely die. Amen. The Bible says the wages of sin is dead. But the gift of life is in Christ Jesus. You see? So don't know where God can stop us from sinning. The Bible is what? He says the wages to stop you from kind of acclimating and kind of paying up your sin is what is dead. And that is why I'm here today. You see? So be careful. The kind of freedom that you are requesting that you want to get. You can get any freedom that you want. Nobody's going to hold you. Jesus Christ won't hold you. But at the end of the day, whether you've done good or you've done bad, the Bible says it's good to judge you. Amen. And that's why I'm here to encourage you to be careful with the freedom that you want to get in this life. You see? So the word of God is kind of like encouraging you today. You see? Are you kind of person that you feel... You tell your parents, let me, let me do what I want to do. Because it's your life, now that you have grown. Like the government said, when you reach 18, you can do whatever you want. But the word of God disagrees with you. Amen? You see, when you come to Jesus Christ, you continue to be a child of God. Even, even in the heaven. Amen? The Bible says, we'll be like an angel in the eyes of God. You see? That's the same way today. I'm here to do what? To encourage you. You see? Do you need a freedom because you wanna you wanna just go and drink the juice, you know, spend time in the club, you know, have all kinds of sexual affairs, all this or like are you a party animal? All this kind of lifestyle can never take you into the kingdom of God, and that's why the Bible says, do not follow to the broad way. You see, because that broad way, many people follow it, and it's a quite disappointing way to follow because the bible said that way leads to what leads to destruction and that is why i'm here kind of like to preach you to the word of god i know some of you don't want to hear it some of you don't want to hear the word of god but the bible says the word of god is foolishness to those who are perishing amen and for those who who understand what word of god is is the bible says it's internal life it is power for those that believe in jesus christ 
And that's why I'm here today to encourage you. You see, hell is not being made for those who love God. Amen. God make hell for devil and his angels. You see, but if you wish to go there, God won't stop you. Amen. You know, you always said, it's my life. I want to take my body, do what I want to do. That's fine. Amen. God won't stop you. It's your lifestyle. Do everything you want to do in this life. But the Bible says it's appointed day for a man to die. And after that comes what? Come judgment. You see? So what kind of lifestyle are you living today? Have you making a decision not to trust God? Have you, have you made a decision to, to live your own lifestyle? To live your life out of God? Amen? Do you hate God? Or when you see me preaching here, do you hate me? You see? Do you hate the word of God? Because I'm not here representing myself. I'm here to preach the word of Jesus Christ. Amen? So there's two parts in this life that you need to take. You see? Are you making that decision because of your friends? That you haven't decided to follow God? Are you making that decision because you have money? Because you have everything that you needed? And you think you don't need God? Let me ask you, what assurance do you have when you die? You see? Because as Bible says, we are all sinners saved by grace. You see, all of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Let me ask you, what is your insurance that you have? You see, because devil is busy to blind the eyes and the mind of unbelievers to continue to do what? To the mind they want freedom. What kind of freedom are you requesting today that you want to get? You want to have freedom to do your own thing? Is that the kind of freedom that you want? Because you can have it. God is not going to stop you. But let me tell you one thing. It will be a foolish idea for you to do what? To move away from the almighty God. From the living God. And the only source way for you to do what? To, re to have eternal life. You see? So every action that you take today. Every part that you take. So that's why today the word of God is encouraging you. To do what? To change your lifestyle. You see? There's a part of way of darkness. Are you, are you still living in that? Are you living in the dark? You see, that's why they have a nightclub. They call it nightclub because sometimes you go there, they turn the light down because it's a spiritual. You see, the Bible says something concerning this kind of darkness lifestyle. The book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 9 says, the way of the wicked is like deep darkness because they have shut Christ away from their lives. You see, they are walking darkness. And the Bible also says they stumble in their ways because they don't have the light. They don't even know what they're stumbling on. And that's why today I'm here to do what to encourage you, you know, amen, to share the light that is in the word of God. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but do what? Have eternal life. Amen? And verse 19 of the same chapter 3, it says, This is the judgment. The light have come into the world. People love darkness rather than light because their works are what? Evil. Are you living an evil lifestyle? Are you still living in the dark? Child of God? The Bible says, come out from the darkness and let the light of God shine in you. Amen? So the Bible says, for everyone who does wicked things, hate light. And does not come to the light, lest his work should be what? Be exposed. That's why today you do something bad, you don't want anybody to know it. Amen? You do something evil, you are hiding from it. You are actually hiding from God. Amen? You hear the word of God, you feel offended. Because you already know that your lifestyle does not give God the glory, you see? So this is the clear teaching of the word of God. Jesus Christ said, he is the light of the world. And when he lives, we the children should be the light. And that's why I'm here today, to shine the light of word of God into your heart. Amen? And hoping word that you will change, you see? The word of God is a light into this darkened world. The word of God is a light in the darkened household. You see? The word of God is a light in this darkened society that we are living. The word of God is a light in the workplace. Amen. You are a Christian. The Bible wants you to shine what? to shine your light. There's nothing like undercover Christian 
There's nothing like secret Christians. The word of God is in your heart, but you must do what? Leave it out. Amen? So that's why the word of God is telling you today. You need to do what? Change your lifestyle. Amen? Come to Jesus Christ. He wants to save you. He wants to be a father to you. He wants to bring you to internal life. You see? But you have to make that choice. The Bible says, it's knocking at the door of your heart. If you open it, he will come in and eat with you. He will come in and be a father to you, and you will be a son to him. Amen? God called you son, you see? So we, the Christians, the Bible tells us to do what? We are the child of God. We must be a light, even in darkened family. If you are, if you are a household, you full of people very abusive, abusive parents, or even abusive children, the Bible tells you, if you are a child of God there, you must let your light shine. Amen? So that everyone can see that light that is in you. Light shining in your life is your character. Amen? Your attitude, your way of life, the way you relate to your family, to your colleagues, to your church members, to the community. And that's why the word of God says, may the light of God shine in you. Amen? So, let me ask you, what is your belief? You see? Because these days, many of us have different kind of beliefs. You see? Do you believe that God don't exist? Do, are you an atheist? What is your mindset? You see? Let me shine light into that. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created heavens and earth. Amen? In the beginning. So that means, remove these misguided views of you have been Big Bang theories. Amen? That man come from earth, all these kind of stories. Just get that out of your mind. Amen? The Bible tells you that God created heavens and earth. And you yourself, you are the product of Jesus Christ. Amen? The Bible says he created you in your own, in his own image, you see? So once we get rid of this false narrative and false misguided views um, in the society, have a change of heart, amen? Stop hating God, amen? Love Jesus Christ. There's nothing to hate about him, amen? All he did is what? He came and set you free from your sin. And that's why today in your life, if you don't have Jesus Christ, you, are, you have crisis in your life, amen? And that's why you need to change, you see? The part that you are taking now, making your way to the station, do you know if you're going to return back? Because we haven't given guarantee that we're going to live forever. Amen? The word of God is encouraging us to do what? To change our mindset. Amen? To change our lifestyle. To come to God. Amen? Because the Bible says He is faithful and just to do what? To forgive us from every of our righteousness. And that's why I'm here today, you see? So let me ask you, do you have sin in your life? You see? Because the Bible says all of us have sinned and fall short of glory of God. Amen? And because of that, what hope do you have? Amen? Because Jesus Christ says those who have hope in Him cannot be disappointed. What assurance do you have in this life? Amen? If you don't have Jesus Christ, you are automatically well, you don't have any assurance because the Bible says the assurance that we have today as a children of God, the blood of Jesus Christ do what? cleanse us from every of our sins, you see? So Jesus Christ says there's two paths in this life. There's a narrow way and there's a wide way, you see? So you should listen to God, amen? Because if you do not listen to God, the Bible says what? If you continue practicing sin, living your wicked lifestyle, amen? You are not willing to change your mind. Do you think your attitude is going to change God, amen? Do you think God is going to change his mind concerning sin? The Bible says God hates sin. Amen? God hates sin. And because God hates sin, the Bible also says those who love God more hates evil. Amen? Do you know you must, you must have cap capability of hate before you can have capability of love? Amen? God hates sin. The Bible says that. So that's why today in your life, you must do what? Hate sin. God hates sin. God never hates a sinner. Amen? The Bible says in the book of Ezekiel that Jesus Christ never take pleasure in the death of any wicked person. Amen? But God never tolerate your iniquities, your sin, your sinful lifestyle, your, your drunkenness, 
your 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 drugs addiction amen any lifestyle that you have today whether you gay or lesbian god do not like that same lifestyle amen and that's why you need to change bible is calling you today the word of god say get transformed amen change your lifestyle come to jesus christ he's calling you today amen the bible says, whoever the son of man set free you are free indeed amen so that's why today the word of god is here to do what to encourage you the book of mark chapter 8 verse 34 says something quite very interesting this is just christ calling the crowd to himself with his disciples he says to them if anyone could come after me let him deny himself and pick up his clothes and follow me you see that are you listening to that he said deny yourself pick up the cross and do what follow me you can't say i believe god i believe god i confess i confess i believe that i believe that do you know the book of john is quite interesting isn't it it says if you say you believe god even the devil believes god but do what he trembles amen so that's why just christ says you can't just open your mouth and say i believe god and still you have not changed your lifestyle amen and that's why today i'm here today to encourage you to the word of jesus christ so that you can have a change of mind amen come to king of kings and the lord of lord he is calling you he said you must clear your mindset you must do what believe in god for whoever wants to save his life will lose it whoever wants to whoever loses his life for my sake for the sake of the gospel of jesus christ you will save it amen so if you try to save your life you lose it but when you lose your life you get your life back you see the society tells you do as you please do your own thing but the word of god is agree amen the society say me me i want to do this i want to do that this is my own opinion this is my own thing the bible says no amen instead of you saving your life the bible says lose it to lose it to save it amen and that's why i'm here today you see so the the key point here in this message Jesus christ says in the book of mark chapter 8 verse 34 is what he's challenging you and let me also challenge you as well amen do you want to gain your life in this life and then lose it after the bible says, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul that's what the word of god you want to gain everything and then lose your soul what can a man give in exchange of his life what can you give in exchange of your life that you are living right now that's a question you need to ask yourself amen what can you give in return for your life do you do you think you can give anything in return for your life you see are you want to continue living in sin because god bless you sir you want to continue living in sin so that what to please your flesh but the word of god says what shall it profit you to do what to gain the whole world and then lose your life you see so it will be a foolish thing to take the wrong path you see to disobey god that way leads to war leads to destruction you see to denying the presence of jesus christ and denying the word of god or even come here to criticize me or to persecute me for for preaching the word of god the bible says what well, be very careful amen remember what happened to pharaoh pharaoh was hardening his heart against the word of god the bible says the servant of god says to pharaoh moses says to him let my children go let the israelites free let them go so they can go and serve me the fellow asked, who is that God that I should listen to him? Are you that kind of person when you hear the word of God? You want to challenge the word of God? You see, because there's a point in time when Pharaoh wanted to, when Pharaoh was hiding his heart, guess what God did? God started hiding his heart as well. Amen. The more Pharaoh had his heart, the more God made his heart to become like a stone so that the word of God cannot penetrate into him. And that's the same way today. When you hear the word of God, do you feel offended? Do you feel, do you feel that God shouldn't tell you what to do? You see, because God is going to allow you to live anywhere you want to live. 
but he's going, to, he's going to judge you. And that's why today, the word of God is encouraging you to do what? To change your lifestyle. Amen? To change your lifestyle, to come to Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, well, he cares for you. You see? And Jesus Christ have only said the whole thing that is quite amazing here. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There's no other way. Amen? Muhammad can save you. If you're an atheist, he can save you. If you are... If you have different kind of religion, Hindu, that can save you. Amen. The only person that says he is the way is Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. And that's why I feel sorry for my Muslim friends. Like sometimes in the Facebook, they want to have argument. I just withdraw because wisdom is a principal thing. Amen. The Bible said, do not give dog what is holy. You see? And that's why I'm here today to encourage you to the word of God. Amen. Jesus Christ, that we have been closed. He is the truth. That means he's not telling you a lie. He is the life. So that means you cannot have any life outside Jesus Christ. Amen. So Jesus Christ is encouraging you today to take this offer. Amen. Because he says there is a path that leads to what? To internal life. And there's a path that leads to what? Destruction. And he calls that way the narrow way that leads to life. And the way that leads to destruction is called the wide way, the broad way. And everybody follows it. It's like a highway, isn't it? People just leave it and they want to do what they want to do. But the Bible says to the Christians, you are the salt of the earth. If the salt loses its taste, it will do what? It will become tasteless. Amen? And that's why the Bible says, go and preach the word. And that is why I'm determined to preach the word of God in this spot every single day that I have time. Amen. I appreciate Monday to Saturdays. If that possible, I want, I want to preach here every day. There's a place I read in the Bible, Acts chapter 17. The Bible says, Apostle Paul preached there for two years.